Jared Bunch has been an outstanding leader and athlete his entire life. He has succeeded at every level of the game. He dominated as a fullback for the University of Michigan. And then in 1991, he was chosen by the Super Bowl champion New York Giants in the first round of the NFL Draft. In 1992, Jared was selected Giants Offensive Player of the Year, but after suffering multiple knee injuries, he decided to retire and move to Hollywood. And like everything else that Jared puts his mind to, he succeeded in acting too. Bunch quickly found his place and landed roles in projects directed by greats such as Quentin Tarantino, Ang Lee, and John Hersfeld. Most players keep moving upward and onward, but after conquering the NCAA and the NFL, Jared has found himself back in high school. And not just any school, it's the world famous Beverly Hills High. My name is Jared Bunch. I'm the head football coach here at Beverly Hills High School and I'm entering my second year. I wanted to just come and help at the high school. The head coaching position came open so I decided to take it over and as I came in I saw that the participation of the students it was like uh, very small 22 kids on the whole team they hadn't won a game in the last two years so they were the last two years they're 0 and 20 but we went on and played last year with 22 kids and we won two games it was the first time we won two games uh, first time that the school had won two games in a season in 10 years with 22 kids I come in and we've got 22 kids, and I ask why isn't anyone playing? And they say, you know, my mom won't let me play because of concussions, or she's afraid I get a concussion. If the biggest problem is fear of concussions, then I contact the NFL, got what they call the rankings of helmets. I went to uh, Steve Tisch. Steve Tisch, who was the uh, co-owner of the New York Giants when I played, for the Giants, he still is the co-owner, and he gave uh, half of the money towards the helmets. The NFL gave a grant every year they give to head coaches of high school teams, and the BHAAA, that Beverly Hills Athletic Alumni Association, they gave the remaining amount of money that we can buy 30 helmets. This Vices has been the helmet that, is, that has been on top of the list since it's been out, and it makes sense. The outside shell bends, you know, their rankings and then me actually seeing the helmet and feeling the helmet, this should be a, a game changer for us. My name is Mike Finney. I'm the key account manager for Vices, Southern California, Southern Nevada. Yeah, so Coach actually reached out to us wanting to put his kids in the best protection out there. So we arranged a meeting, we came up here, we went through the technology, we went through the presentation in depth. Coach asked a lot of great questions, trying to get his kids in the best protection out there. So unlike traditional football helmets, the main thing that people notice about ours that's so different is we actually have a soft outer shell. So no matter where the impact occurs, our helmet's gonna deform locally to help slow that impact force down, very similar to crumple zones of a car bumper. Really the most important part of our helmet though is the column structure on the inside. You can hear a true difference. And that's not just in one location, that's no matter where the uh, impact occurs on the helmet. It's a soft sound, which is great. Look, look. You hear that? Oh. Oh. Nice. Hey, you know what this is right here? Sweet. Go sleep. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> Max Menace Jr. I'm hoping to play at linebacker and at tight end. Those helmets are super safe and NFL level, like not even all the NFL players wear them. Like we're the one of the only high schools that have those and we are very lucky and very grateful we have them. Hi, my name is Christopher Mai. I'm a sophomore and I'm trying out for center and defensive tackle. And last year when I came in I was terrible but coach still believed in me and I'm still here. This year, the goal was to, to be 500 or better. But if they're, not, if they're not dedicated to it, 
We played with 22 kids last year. We can do it again. I, I would rather play with number a small number of kids who are going to be here to work than the kids who just try to, you know, try to get a new helmet. Which we do have a lot of those. <laughs>